Our long-awaited delivery has officially arrived. It's here! 135 pages? Woo! The deck is stained, the railing is getting installed, the fence is being built, and we're doing it all at once. You're doing a pretty damn good job for uh, just winging it. One day at a time, it's coming together, and before long, it'll be the homestead we envision. <laughs> it's not HGTV. Messy. But first, we have some hurdles to overcome. Oh! Is it up to code? Mm -mm. No. I think getting this stain on here has like renewed some excitement and us continuing to push this portion of the project forward and see if we can't finish this bad boy up. The only thing is, it's potentially a portion of it might be a little bit funky. Yeah, so when we get that last post right here, so say it stops right there, you have a big wide open gap. Because it's an A-frame, it's not a vertical wall. <laughs> so <laughs> And A-frames make everything so much easier. Yeah, there's roofs in the way everywhere. Like this one. So, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn it, we think. But we're gonna deal with that later. Yes. First we're gonna get up some like posts and try to figure out what the situation is with measuring from this end to that end. Yeah, because it's not gonna it's not gonna be exact. So you're gonna have a shorter piece, we'll probably put the shorter piece back here yeah. and make everything line up. It's gonna be post rail post, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll, okay. we'll just build and go that way with it. We're gonna do the best we can. So I'm basing the measurement of this post to the ex same exact measurement on the stair over there. It all worked out last time, so we're gonna go the same route so we shouldn't, hopefully, <laughs> have any issues with the rail going down. I'm gonna swing it up to you. You ready? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> This is the box that our sprayer came in. We discovered that if you bring out something new, Leon's going to have an interest in it. So you should bring out two new things. So if you get a sprayer, he's going to want the sprayer. He's going to want, want to rub up next to it and tip it over. I'll pet you. <laughs> so if you bring out the sprayer and the box that the sprayer came in, then you can just leave the sprayer box out and he can rub on that all he wants and then you can actually use a sprayer. Or if you bring out a ladder, bring out two ladders. Do you see him putting his paw on me? <laughs> bring out two ladders and he can rub on one ladder while you actually use the other one. And then everybody's happy, right? <laughs> Looking fancy. How's it look? Oh, it looks so good. Really? Yeah. Looks like it's supposed to look. <laughs> like a deck, right? Yeah. Oh, too much. Oh, a little more. Just a little more.
This video is sponsored by CrowdCow. There's farmers out there working really hard to produce animal protein the right way. As I call it, farming responsibly. And CrowdCow connects you to them through their marketplace offering high quality meats. With CrowdCow, you can know and appreciate exactly where your food comes from. For us, CrowdCow is the perfect way to source sustainable wild caught seafood, but they also have grass fed beef, pasture raised chicken, and more that you can include in your box. Each cut is vacuum sealed, frozen at peak freshness, and sustainably shipped directly to your door. CrowdCow stands out from the crowd because all their meat has no growth hormones or unnecessary antibiotics. You get meat and seafood that tastes better and is higher quality than the grocery store while supporting farmers that are doing it the right way. Trust me, once you have wild raised seafood and pasture raised chicken, you can't go back to the grocery store. Like this wild caught shrimp sent to us by Del Pacifico, wild caught seafoods. Crispy, snappy texture, the way wild caught shrimp is supposed to taste. All of their shrimp comes from day boats that use the wind and tide to drift a highly selective net. And this is just one of numerous farms to support. Become a member and you can get $100 of free meat plus free shipping if you sign up using our link in the description box below, crowdcow.com slash wildwonderful. Becoming a member is free and it saves you an extra 5% off everything you put into your box above $99. This promotion is extremely limited, so act fast. Now let's get back to the build. You take a snack break? Got a pencil. <laughs> and I saw that uh, he was making cereal, so I took a handful, you know? You did the same with my position. You're lucky you look cute in that hat. I'll let it slide. <laughs> I just wanna dive into the blue. It doesn't really matter what we do. Don't let the moment pass us by. Just trust that the universe is right. So, I like it. You? Yeah. It looks like I got that one little issue right there. Yeah. What's that, you? So, like, if you can see, the Makes issue sense. is that. Is it in the, okay. Yeah. So, the post is coming up right here, obviously, and then the roof is. I can't do this. This is weird. Okay. <laughs> the roof is going like that. So, then there's like a V, a mm -hmm. slight V. So, with our kids. It's not going to be an issue. No. But everybody's a dumb <laughs> cleared me sometimes. So, uh, you and, never know. And we, we have other people's kids over here. I don't want any safety concerns with that. So there's a couple of different ways that we could remedy the situation. One mm -hmm. is putting two posts, like doubling the posts up. Yes. I think that's going to look weird. I think, I just, like, they're right next to each other. No railing in between. It's just going to look weird. Another option, like we had previously discussed, is it a little bit so you have the post here that's mm -hmm. already there and then you have another post over here with a small section of railing I'm not sure about how that's going to end up looking either or maybe we could put like a potted plant right there like a big pot with a plant yes and hide it is it up to code mm -mm. no but do we have to worry about inspections here not here no. also no <laughs> <laughs> you see that's good. Now no safety hazard. Yes. Don't mind the Christmas decorations. Ellie picked this one out. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. It's very expensive at Lowe's. But. It's cute. Just like you, honeybee. When the season's <laughs> over, Christmas, we're going to take that guy, we're going to, that guy right there, we're going to plant him out, out in the woods. Right? Yes. Come together, girl. Look like a house. You think? Yeah. Look at it. It looks great, dude. I think so too. With everything being stained, it all looks smaller now. It does it, look smaller. It all, it all like fits together. The deck doesn't look huge anymore. Just 
It blends in, it flows, yeah. it's yeah. right. Yeah, you did a pretty damn good job for uh, just winging it, you know? <laughs> I think so too. So. <laughs> You know marshmallows? You know graham cracker? Who does it called? What? S'mores! <laughs> you know, we're just trying to enjoy a fire here, Lee. <laughs> Leon's going to take it right off your stick. <laughs> He's like, I want it, dude. Burning! 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 You're the coolest looking pumpkin out here. But what about that carpet? You blew it up, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is. Go first? Yeah. You got that? We got a call very early this morning letting us know that a shipment that we've been waiting on for a very long time is officially going to arrive today. This means that we need to hop back to the fence build and ideally get up as many boards as we can. <laughs> we have literally like a million projects going on all at once because um, we have the house we have the farm we have the kids there's projects for all of those sorts of things so it's kind of it's a juggling act and we just prioritize whatever it is that we need to prioritize at the time and now that's kind of more so the fence rather than the railing so what we're going to do today is get everything loaded up onto the trailer um, we have EcoFlow batteries we have the air compressor, all the tools, and we can get all of the boards on there and then just tow everything with us as we work our way down, attaching all of the boards so that we can get at least this first portion completely fenced in and get some gates up, which is going to keep the animals from being up by the house and then also back over where the garden and the kids play area is. So yeah, if it seems like we are jumping around from projects a lot, it's because we are. <laughs> it's not HGTV, it's real life, it's messy. How many of these boards did you say you ordered? 260. This side, we need about 100 going that way, girl. This is going to be a long day. How many you got there, you know? About half the stack almost. I've stacked three so far.
So we're gonna start down towards the woods and work our way back up towards the house. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're actually on a pretty steep slope coming down this way. So the boards are gonna be going down with the slope of the land. It'll look nice for us to go make everything level out of a big gap at each end and Leon can squeeze through. But I think the proper way to do it is, is go ahead and slope it down with the land. Um, on a side note, when we do bring all the boards here and they're gonna tie in to this post, we're actually gonna come back later on and put a board down the front and nail it in. So right now you're gonna see it, it might not look too uh, pleasant, I should say. We might have a few gaps, but we put a board in the front and then we'll get it covered up. The first board's gonna need to be marked, cut, then we'll nail it up and we'll go ahead and uh, nail the rest of them up. And I think after we get this one section done, we'll have all the kinks worked out and we should be able to roll. Here you go. Seriously? The yes. kids' glasses? They work. Do these work? No, oh, yeah, why not? They're for eight year olds. There's craftsman on the side, but it also says eight ages eight and plus. Are yours 40 year old plus? We got company. <laughs> you can't just leave us alone for a little bit to get the work done. You come around, all we can do, all we do is pet and hug on you, dude. You know? It's not fair. Oh, it's very good. This is super exciting. We're rolling too, right? I know. So as Josh had mentioned, these are the little gaps right here that we're gonna be going back through and covering with a board that's gonna come all the way down this side. Obviously the other side of the fence is not gonna need that because um, you can't see where the boards are meeting up. It's just all nicely lined up with the posts. So we're going seven inches off of the ground to the first board. And then after that, we're spacing them every eight inches going all the way up. And how tall is it ended up? 54 inches yep. but at the top once we get up here we're gonna be running a line of hot wire all the way around the top and we might end up doing this between a couple of these boards going on the way down but we don't we don't have large predator pressure no. out here it's it's not an issue for us um, but electric does work very well in deterring those types of predators and we've used previously prior to putting this in we've had hot wire running around the perimeter of our property or our pasture so that we could go and hook and clip into it with our electric netting. This is gonna make life so much easier because we are not going to be rotating electric fencing <laughs> because it's, it ends up being a lot. I think that if we were just solely working with livestock and doing farming and that was like our day-to-day -day thing was like taking care of the animals mm -hmm. and we could just spend hours on it it wouldn't be a big deal but when you have separate electric fencing for all different groups of animals like chickens bucks does sheep a cow pigs it just like it's it's a lot moving everybody you're moving fencing for one group or another group like every single day throughout the week so this way we are going to have people separated in terms of like our pigs are going to have a separate pen mm -hmm. the cow is going to be out here with the sheep but we're not going to be rotating everybody and it's going to work for us because we have a smaller number of livestock compared to the size of pasture that we have so nobody's yeah. running through it just you know tearing up the land because it's not like we have a you know an entire herd of anything we'll probably have eventually two cow yes and a handful of sheep and it's gonna be on seven half eight acres yes so and the pigs will be separate they're yep. going to be out in the wood line in their own situation but it's going to work it's going to make our life easier and then also when we want to go on vacation which we, we like to do we can we can <laughs> go and we don't because i think our stressor has been worrying about if the animals break out of the electric fencing and we have a farm sitter over here 
that person doesn't know the animals the way that we do. The animals don't know them the way that we do. So it can be difficult for them to get the animals back in if something happens. And I mean, I don't think you worry about it so much, but it keeps me awake at night. Like yeah. it takes me days to unwind when we're on vacation. Cause Entire drive there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now we're not gonna have to worry about that anymore. And it looks great. That is no. It's your park place. Yeah. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot, a lot of stuff. People that did the uh, review on it said it took. Eight hours for six people to build. Because we have to turn that into a playground. Build it! But I, I'm confident me, me and your mom can cut that time in half. <laughs> no, Lee, we did not buy this for you. <laughs> you see how much work this is going to be, don't you? I've heard terrible terrible things about that about installing playgrounds yeah I, I heard six people took eight hours <laughs> on one review but I have a secret weapon what it's Yale <laughs> <laughs> just kidding I'm just kidding that's good that's going in <laughs> no it's not Hundred and thirty-five pages. It takes took me to build this thing, dude. Seriously. I don't know, but um, I think there's somewhere I need to be. <laughs> you gonna help? He's let me have Leon. He's about to ram you. He's backing up. He's backing up. On your mark, get set, go. Stop. <laughs> Leon! Leon! Hey, guy! Leon! Leon! Come on, dude! Leon! Do you have anything to say? Oh.